HIV was not identified as a virus until 1984. So before that, we had a syndrome of people who were getting sick with these really unusual diseases. They were young people, they were getting sick and dying of these uh, very unusual infections and other diseases, but we didn't know what was causing it. I had a patient, actually, and he was uh, a man who had um, uh, used injecting drugs at some point in his life. But I bring up his case because at that point in time, they were newly married and she was uh, pregnant. And I remember the wife asking me, you know, could I possibly have gotten the infection or, you know, this, this problem from my husband and what about my baby? And at that point, our knowledge was so incomplete that I told her, no, we don't think that you could get it from, you know, from him or from or that the baby would be infected. And of course, now we know that's completely false. Reminds me of how little we knew in the beginning.